Hello, this is Daniela from Sewing for a Living and in this video I'm going to show you another way to fix torn jeans. For more ideas on how to fix torn jeans, check out the links in the description below. Here I have a pair that is ripped at the knees. What I'm going to do is to replace the fabric in the knee area to get rid not only of the hole, but of the faded color area around it as well. This way to fix the knees works very well on leggings and other knit pants, in my experience. Here is how to do it yourself on jeans. First, pick a fabric piece that looks well next to the main fabric. You may aim for the same color or go for a contrast color for a nice effect. Then mark with a couple of pins the area that you want to replace. Do that on the leg with the bigger torn. Mirror that on the other leg. The easiest way to do it without measuring is to fold the jeans in half. Align them nicely and put the pins at the same place as on the other leg. Next, I draw the lines where I'm going to cut. Draw the first line perpendicular to the side seams. Measure the distance between the line and the second pin. Measure the same distance on the sides of the leg and draw the second line. Again, to avoid more measuring, Fold the jeans in half front sides together and tap with hands until the lines left by the chalk get marked on the other leg. Repeat the lines on that leg to make them more visible. Now turn the jeans inside out and break the side seams at both sides of the legs. Go a couple of inches more than the lines so that you have some room to sew later. On one side you're going to have only joining seams and on the other jeans usually go with one, two or even three lines of top stitching. Then I cut a bit in from the lines to leave 3 eighths of an inch or one centimeter for a seam allowance. I use the pieces I've just removed as a pattern for the new ones and cut two facing each other. Now I need to attach them. I pin the patch to the upper part of the leg face sides together. I make the joining seam. Then I need to make the joining seam on the bottom. I put both details facing each other and sew on the wrong side exactly as I did at the top. Here is how it looks like by now. I am top stitching over the joining seams so that the seams look better and they are more durable. It looks like this. Now I need to make the side seams. I make sure to make the top stitches on the inner leg first because they are going to be impossible to make if we close the leg on the other side. In my case the top stitch and the joining seam are the same so I fold the fabric of front and back leg together and make the seam.
The second line of top stitching here is much easier to make. Here is how it looks like by now and the only thing left to do is to close the outer leg seam and search or zigzag the edge as it used to be. Here are the mended jeans. Perhaps this is not the perfect example because black is hard to work with and match colors with all the shades of black available. I believe you can get better results than the ones I achieved here by following these steps. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. Thank you for watching.